this is really important, what Bob laid out. It's really the nuts and bolts of our process to try to create plans and implement them for the benefit of the community um, to, to, to realize our vision for Arlington and to, to integrate our goals for transportation, for community facilities, for infrastructure, uh, for housing and jobs, etc., into a unified whole. And on the Planning Commission, we have a fairly unique perspective or a unique ability to see all the projects that are happening across the whole county uh, and see uh, all of the uh, different aspects that are associated with each project. Uh, so we, we, it, we hope that it gives us some perspective. Um, we also really value the community participation. Uh, I have to say RAFOM is, is probably our most consistent um, contributor and uh, Stan and Stuart and, and other voices um, are, are really valued voices in the process. And um, it actually makes our meetings a little more interesting to, to get community input and community testimony and feel like uh, somebody actually cares about what we're saying and, and talking about um, in the commission meeting. So we really appreciate that participation. Um, a few things about the Planning Commission. We have three standing committees. Uh, it's ZOCO, it's a zoning uh, committee. Uh, that committee is responsible to review the zoning, zoning ordinance language that um, will go in front of the county board. Uh, that's a very important function of the commission. We have uh, what's called the Long Range Planning Committee. That's um, a committee that looks at the sector plans and other long range plans for the county. It's really forward looking. Uh, and then we have the Site Plan Review Committee that, as Bob described, uh, is the committee that helps filter projects up to the commission that are implementing our plans. So um, it's, it's a balance for the commission to work on both the implementation side and also look uh, at the long range uh, visioning side. And, and it, uh, the more I look at other commissions, it's a common problem that a lot of times we get in the weeds on looking at the specifics of a project. You know, where does this bike rack go? And is that tree in the right spot? And, you know, we have the right amount of candle, foot candles on the street light. Um, but we also have to maintain the, the broader view. So I think the, the Roslyn um, sector plan update is, is a great um, uh, example and um, case for, for what we want to do as a commission to look at the, the longer view. And so I want to run through a few things on that. Um, it's my own experience in Roslyn. I started working um, in right on the... Um, Potomac Tower, I think it's called, uh, in the early 90s, and worked worked in Roslyn for a few years, and then became um, involved in the Roslyn Renaissance, and served on the Urban Design Committee uh, for Roslyn Renaissance until I got kicked off that um, committee, um, and then worked on, worked on um, for good reasons. Yes. Um, for them, uh, was involved in the Roslyn Working Group uh, that looked at Central Place, uh, and so I have kind of a long history in Roslyn, also very involved in um, Turnberry Tower when it came along. It originally it was proposed to be um, a uh, tower on top of a parking plant. I was very involved in helping to get uh, retail at the ground floor and opening that up so it, was, it wasn't a repeat of blank parking walls in Roslyn. Um, so when I joined the Planning Commission, another commissioner and I, Steve Cole, started walking um, through Roslyn a lot and, and taking evenings, summer evenings, walking through, talking about Roslyn. And frankly, I was a little burned out on Roslyn and, and I was trying to pass on the, um, some of that history and experience to Steve. And, and Steve said, you know, there's a lot of great things here um, that I'm seeing and you're talking about, you know, why don't we make a push to see if we can get the county board to do a sector plan update, which by the way, I had been advocating since the late 90s to do. Um, having worked here and having seen the problems as a planner and architect, um, I was I was dying to have that kind of um, effort uh, go forward. So Steve Cole, uh, who's the vice chairman of the Planning Commission, was really instrumental in um, working with the county board and county staff and um, Anthony and and planning department to formulate uh, a process and um, that we could proceed with the sector plan. So like Bob, I'm I'm just incredibly excited about this opportunity, uh, and I think it's, uh, it's something that, that we want to we want to really capitalize on. If you don't like how it turns out, you know, you can run me out of town, because <laughs> I was there at the beginning. 
So um, just a, a few things. There, there's four main components um, that, that Anthony has really been putting this together and shepherding this process. So I'm, I'm a little embarrassed to speak on speak of Anthony's behalf, but <laughs> chime in. The, um, we're looking at building an urban design framework that is um, really capitalizes on <coughs> the assets of Roslyn, but also is a framework that solves the problem. So we have a lot of issues that um, are, are actually really difficult to solve. Um, and that framework is, is something that's critical. Way back when I was starting to work on this, I was working with the uh, dean of the Maryland Architecture School. And I said, Steve, and Steve Herr was his name, I said, why don't we do uh, a studio on Roslyn with the students and do an urban design studio? And Steve said, you know, there's just some problems that are way too hard for students. <laughs> so I had no traction on that. But I think it is somewhat indicative. It's not an easy, and it's, there's, some, there's some issues here. It's the topography, uh, the skywalks, the bridges, some of the above grade parking, uh, the use mix, the, the lack of retail. There's some issues that really are tough. Um, and I think that oftentimes we lack the ability to, to envision a, a greater future. And so this urban design <coughs> framework uh, is something that, that we really want to look at that, that'll pull all these pieces together. Um, detailed building height strategy, um, starting to deal with heights and looking at ways that we can uh, work with some of the height notions that the county board has previously put on the table with tapering view corridors, um, uh, solar angles, solar access uh, to open spaces and streets, et cetera. Um, and then certainly building Roslyn on top of a, a multi-modal transportation system. And I think that's, that's something that you all live here and you know how valuable that asset is. Uh, and with Metro now re-envisioning their system and looking at some systemic um, solutions, Roslyn's really at a focal point of a lot of the Metro planning. So uh, there's a huge opportunity to take that transportation infrastructure <coughs> and catapult it into the, the next 50 years. And then finally, parks and open space. Uh, not just creating new parks and open spaces, but op optimizing the way that we get to existing parks and open spaces. Um, so the, the sector plan update is meant to build on the previous work of the uh, sector plan from 1992 and vision, which has served as well and really outlined a lot of the, um, the primary goals. Uh, but since 1992, um, what is that, over 20 years ago, um, a lot has happened in terms of uh, planning standards, in terms of the way we look at urban design, the way we understand transportation, uh, and we're seeing a total transformation in the way that people inhabit our cities, the, the desirability of urban cores, uh, the desirability of dense urban living, and it's, a, it's really time for that update to happen. Um, the Anthony and, and Bob and, and the staff have put together uh, what, what seems like will be a, a highly successful engagement. I think that their, their number one priority practically is to ensure that this plan develops in process with the community. And so Stan and I are on the process panel. Um, if you don't like the process, talk to Stan because he's, he's really helping to guide and make sure that um, everyone has access to this project through the community workshops, through the website that's open, uh, the open planning commission process. There are multiple avenues to engage in the process, and, and it's, it's important to not only help formulate the plan, but to be ambassadors of the plan uh, once it comes out. So we're, we're really excited about uh, what staff has put together on that. Um, the timeline um, is, is I, I, I would use the word aggressive, but that's good because I think the, the notion is, is that with a concentrated effort and uh, very active engagement with the community, staff will be able to put together with their consultant uh, a s series of proposals that we can look at and evaluate and move forward with. So the, Having this thing grind on for years is in no one's interest. Uh, I think a focused and a very active engagement to work on this plan um, is, is the goal. And if, if that's, that's a whole other benefit of the plan. If that is successful, uh, it's a great model for the county in terms of how they might do other plans uh, and with a, with a positive out, outcome. And finally, the, um, the next steps of the plan um, are, there, there was a community workshop which probably a lot of people here um, attended 
at, in the um, museum uh, or the uh, the uh, art sphere, <laughs> and um, that that was really a, a beginning conversation with the community. And the staff has put together a series of follow-on workshops um, for community engagement that allow everyone to come together and really get their hands on this plan and help help the consultant and staff uh, work with the ideas, come up with the ideas, prioritize uh, options, and, and move this plan forward. Uh, in addition to that, there are um, certainly opportunities to attend planning commission um, review of this. We'll be looking at it in the long range planning committee uh, and, and ultimately we'll go forward to the planning commission. So um, I think RAFOM is really at the center of this plan formulation and um, we really look forward to that participation.